Now, back to slide masters. Very easy to manipulate. Think of them as another slide. So we've already taken a look at some of the elements and talked about reusing slides. You know, when you reuse slides, it's going to adapt to your slide master unless you tell it not to. But again, here is really where you want to be very careful and very clear and very concise. What you put here is going to land on every single slide that you create. Now, some people will forget where they're at and when they're creating a slide master, they just forget. They add a text box and they start typing. Well, that text isn't on slide one. It's on every single slide. Obviously, it's easily correctable, but you do have to go back and correct it. In this demonstration, we're going to create a slide master. Now, slide master is also known as a design template. Design templates can be the slide master, the slide layouts, custom themes, bullet levels, common slide information, notes and handout masters. So really, all of these subjects folded together are dealing really with design templates. Now, in terms of setting up a brand new slide master, what we're going to do is we're going to open up a PowerPoint file, and then we're going to go behind the scenes and set up the master. All right. And here I'll click on this button just so we can see what we're working with. Now we have our international widget presentation, annual meeting, New York City. We've got a date, so obviously what we've done is we've opened up an older presentation and we're going to make something of this. Now one of the first things we need to do is we need to actually view the slide master. There's a couple of ways of doing this. The first way we can do it is down here, we have all of these shortcuts. If you hold the shift key, it's one of these little known tricks, and you click on the one that represents normal, you'll see we automatically went to the edit master title slide. Now I'm going to let go of shift and I'll give it another click and we go back to slide view. Now that's if you just want to stay on whatever tab you're on and quickly switch to the slide master. If you want to go through some of the more conventional methods, then what we need to do is go to the View tab, and under View, we will choose, of course, the Masters. We have Slide Master, Handout, or Notes Master. Of course, we'll choose the Slide Master. Now, when I view the Slide Master in this fashion, notice it does look a little bit different. Here, we have the Master Title Slide, but we seem to have a few different types of layouts that we can work within when working and adding various slides. So notice each one of these slides themselves, when I go this way, already has a layout. We go all the way back up to the top and we'll go to the master title slide. Now what I'd like to do is I'd like to move the margins and how I do that is I can go to the View tab, and I'm going to view the ruler. I'm going to click on the title placeholder, and I'm going to drag this left handle to the right until we go all the way to a three inch marker. Again, just modifying it ever so much. and I can do the same right here. So you can just make little tiny changes if that's what you want to do. Now within the placeholder itself, we can even change the fonts. So what I'll do is I'll take left aligned text in blue Arial and Arial black even, and we'll change all of these as well. So what I'll do in the title placeholder is I'll triple click. That's how you select everything in a text box. Now notice here, I've got our little mini toolbar. Remember options from earlier in the course? Well, under options, we had selected that we like to use the mini toolbar. And you'll see as soon as I move closer to it, it essentially brightens up. So here we do have Arial Black already selected. And we can make sure it's left aligned. 
and we can change any one of these items to what we want. Let's say now we want to change it to blue. Now, once you select the blue, you can see how it affects the rest of the presentation. And if you decide maybe it's not the right blue, remember you can always change these. So maybe you want a darker shade of blue. If you give it a click again, it'll show you instantly what all of that's going to look like. Now in the text placeholder, you'll see triple clicks only takes that one line because you're really dealing more with outline levels. So what we need to do is to click and drag over all of the text. And what I'll do from the mini toolbar, where I can even use some of the homes, is on this mini toolbar I can have an ability to do the same thing here and change all the font styles. Again, we can do one at a time by clicking and dragging. We can triple click, or we can select all of these. Whichever way you do it, you can make some consistent choices in terms of the font. So again, here we have Arial Black. We're going to make sure we're in the same color blue. And if we click away from the text placeholder, you'll see again all of our templates have changed for us. Now what I'd like to do is I'd like to insert the logo or even to change this logo in the top left hand corner. So if I click and drag you'll see here I can modify its properties. I can even change some of the picture styles and how I want our logo to look. You'll see that looks nice but it's a little hard to fit it all in that space. So again you can essentially try all your different options until you find one that works just right. And if there was a different logo at this point, you could delete it and bring in the logo that you need in order for your presentation to look the way you want it to look. When you're all done with your slide master, making whatever changes you'd like to make, Make sure you save your work, of course. And now what you need to do is you can click right back on this normal button and it'll bring you back to slide view so you can see exactly how everything's going to look.